Hey everybody, I'm Derek Gilman and welcome to our course on pests, diseases, and threats management. And today we are here with Kyra Rood of Rincon Vitova Insectaries. Mm -hmm. And we are here with Mel Frank, legendary mm -hmm. cannabis grower and author. Um, Kyra, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do? My name is Kyra, I'm passionate about bugs. I'm the general manager of Rincon Vitova Insectaries. Been there for 12 years, learning a lot about biological pest control and how to keep these things mitigated with least toxic strategies. Excellent. And Mel Frank, uh, oh. yeah, keep it short because your list of accolades I think could keep us here all day. All but right. uh, please uh, tell well, the audience. I've been in this uh, growing marijuana for a long time. First growing in 68 and uh, first writing about how to grow marijuana in 71. Three books came after that, uh, Marijuana Grower's Guide series, the Insider's Guide, the uh, Grower's Guide Deluxe, published uh, uh, marijuana books and Rob Clark's Hashish books, both editions of that. Uh, I now uh, do some consulting, uh, a lot of photography. I have photo shows. One's going to be in New York in September. Amazing right. photography. Right. I've thank seen you. some of those right. photos, man, and they're, they're outrageous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I, I think we're going to get to share a few today, too, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to, well, you're going to, not the ones that are going to be in the show, but you're going to see a lot of bug shots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, excellent. So I think we should start this course with discussing the importance of the daily inspection because that's where this whole process begins is identifying if you have an issue and what kind of issue that is exactly. so um, you know how does the how does a daily inspection uh, where does that begin and how does that work well it begins every day if you've got a serious grow uh, because the sooner you find a problem uh, the better chance you have of controlling it or eradicating it uh, some of these bugs uh, especially the really little ones, like aphids and mites, uh, just a few days, their populations can absolutely explo explode. So the so daily inspection happens the, every day. Every day, you start with your healthiest plants and uh, progress to any plants that may have had a problem before. So if you did it the other way around, you might start at your problem plants and you'd be bringing that problem over to your nice healthy plants. But every master grower would spend a, a good start of his day to inspecting all his plants for any problem bugs or nutrient deficiencies, uh, molds, diseases. Uh, it's a very important thing to do and it's, it's part of the daily routine of any good, good grower. And part of this process is identifying and uh, figuring out if, uh, if the damage you're finding is, is it a pest, is it a disease, or is it just uh, you know, maybe a nutrient deficiency, right? So what tools uh, do we use through this process? What tools do you use, Kyra? Well, basically, I Never go anywhere without a hand lens. A simple hand lens with 10 power magnification is going to be able to show you a lot of these teeny tiny pest insects that are on the leaves. Um, you can step up your magnification to things with lights. Um, we even keep a magnifier, excuse me, a microscope in the office for when we come across things that we can't identify with a 10 power magnification and we need to get something a little more um, close up on them. I like the loops with the lights myself. I use them Very for many things. Handy. I use them for inspecting my plants. I use them for <coughs> inspecting my dried flowers as well when I'm done. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They're fun little tools. Uh, and what other tools did uh, can we use through the, uh, the inspection a process? a variety of hand lenses. They come okay. in a lot of different kind of styles, um, yeah. a lot of different styles. Oftentimes, having some kind of pocket reference of showing you the pictures of not only the pest insects that you're looking for, but the beneficials is just a handy, quick guide while you're walking around. Okay. Um, yellow sticky cards, things like that, basic tools for monitoring. You and then see. how would something like this work? So these work by opening it up and revealing a sticky surface, often with a grid. Some of them don't have grids, but it's very handy when they do. And depending on what you're monitoring for, you're gonna hang this at various plant heights. So lower for soil pests, fungus gnats, higher in the plant for flying things through the canopy. So this is something you might just generally keep in your garden as, as a tool for just uh, to monitor. It's a monitoring tool is what Absolutely. It is, right? The key with biocontrol is it's preventive and proactive versus reactive. A lot of these pests and diseases, 
the biggest thing you can do is prevention. So keeping on top of these things, especially in your daily monitoring and your daily inspection is going to be critical in right. keeping a lot of these pests and diseases under control. Yeah. Again, like yeah. you just mentioned, why we do this every day right. is to try and catch it early so Absolutely. we can start taking care Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Yes, I think uh, they, you, the yellow ones are for like fungus gnats and, and, and white flies, uh, things that are flying around. Uh, but also, I, they make blue ones, don't they? They that do. attract uh, thrips. Like I said, thrips. Yeah, real good thrips, for I thrips. So, so every, every professional grow you go into, you'll see these all over the place. There's a little mm -hmm. hole here so you can hang it up. And even home gardeners, even if they're growing like four or five plants indoors, they'll have have one of these there. Because it, it lets you know right away, oh, there's something on, the, on my card, I've got a problem here, and then you can hunt it down and, and deal with it. Mm -hmm. So as we go through this inspection, mm -hmm. um, how do we identify if the, if, if the problem or damage that we're seeing, how do we identify if it's a pest, or is it a disease, right. or is it uh, a nutrient deficiency? What are, what are the signs between each of these? Well, uh, Generally, when you have a, a, a pest, uh, an insect, or some sort of bug that's eating your plant, uh, you'll see physical damage to the leaf. Okay. For uh, nutrient deficiencies, generally the leaf is, is not compromised. In other words, there aren't holes in it, there aren't uh, bites uh, taken out of it. And then diseases are, are another category altogether, because they can be confused with, uh, with both uh, 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 pests or nutrient deficiencies, and, and, and we'll get into that later on. So yeah, so just to, uh, just to wrap this up on the daily inspection, let's just go through one more time. Okay. Um, we begin um, in the cleanest part of the garden, okay? We then uh, methodically go through every plant in the garden mm -hmm. using our various right. tools. Bottom we'll to top, top to bottom. Bottom to top, top to bottom. Right. Make sure you look Start at everything. Start with the stem, okay. end with the leaves. Right. Perfect. Uh, and then we look to identify if we're seeing any physical damage exactly. to the plant, which will tell us it's a pest, mm -hmm. uh, versus any type of maybe discoloring that we may see mm -hmm. that's more likely to indicate uh, nutrient a nutrient deficiency. deficiency. Right. Um, and then the diseases, again, being a little trickier, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go over those uh, you know, each uh, with some visual uh, aids to help guide us in that process. Exactly. Right. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you used the word clean also because the cleanliness of your grow is very important to, to uh, preventing any infections. Uh, nothing uh, bugs like more than a lot of litter around, uh, a lot of extraneous uh, water around, pooling around your grow, things like that just att attracts problems. Okay. Well, great. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, let's look at some. Let's look at some bugs, huh? Okay. <laughs> great. <laughs>